deck the halls with boughs of holly. Tra la 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 la. Oh, hold on, don't deck too much now. Cause as much as we need the little Christmas cheer, we still have to make sure we have food money come January morning. I'm Kalila Reynolds and it's time for another episode of Money Mondays JA, brought to you by Proven Wealth. Today I have some last minute Christmas savings tips that will preserve your cash flow but still keep you in the holiday spirit. And I also have some Christmas giveaways! So make sure you watch this video to the very end. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel and turn on those post notifications. Also subscribe to my newsletter at KhalilaReynolds.com where you can read a full transcript of this episode. So I know we're all craving some holiday cheer. Me too. My Christmas tree has been up since mid-November, but we still need to eat in January. And let's not forget the economy is taking its time to bounce back. So taking steps to conserve your cash flow and resources should still be on the front burner. Here are some useful tips you can consider for the rest of the season. Tip number one, be like Santa, make a list and check it twice. If you've already made a budget and you're sticking to it, then kudos to you. If not, that's fine, just get back on track. If you didn't make one to begin with, then it's not too late, get started right now. You'd be surprised how much money may be flowing through your account each week that goes unnoticed simply because you're not being strategic with your spending. Download a budget app and use it to track your spending this holiday season. I like this one called Home Budget, which I've been using for years. Every time you make a purchase, log it in the app and it will notify you when you're approaching your spending limit. A budget helps you to avoid spending more than you plan for, but be realistic when setting your limit. Know how much you can afford to spend. Make a list of the things you plan to buy, set a budget for each gift, and stick to it. And this brings me to tip number two. Stick to one gift per person, including yourself. Okay, first, I have a confession, right? I'm that Christmas shopper that goes, oh, this handbag is so cute. Mom would love this bag. One for mom and one for me. Oh, look at those earrings. Oh, they're perfect for my bestie. One for her and one for me. Stop, stop, stop it right now. Step away from the earrings. You're not shopping for you, you're shopping for others. Christmas is the season of giving, right? <laughs> now on the topic of spending less, here's tip number three. Watch those lights. It is a festive time and with that comes a lot of celebrations and decorations. We're decking the halls, right? And what better way to lift the spirit of Christmas than to light it up? But if you must use lights, try using fewer strings of lights to bring down that light bill. Remember those Teacher K light bill mats episodes? Yup, keep that kilowatt hour usage down. Try to stay away especially from your energy next, which is much more expensive than your energy first. You can click the link up here or in the description below to learn more about how that works. Also download the JPS app to track your consumption and see exactly how much electricity you burn when those lights are plugged in. The app allows you to view your consumption hour by hour so you could run a test. Leave the Christmas lights off for one hour, then check the app to see how much your consumption was. Then turn the lights back on for an hour and check the app again and note the difference. I bet that will motivate you to be more efficient. Now still on lights, here's tip number four. Buy LED pepper lights. They're a little bit more expensive than the regular lights, but they burn about 30% less electricity. So the extra $500 or $1,000 you'll spend is more than compensated for by the savings in your light bill. You can also keep the lights on an hour less. That's tip number five. My kids love the Christmas lights, so I'm not gonna deny them that joy, but we could just turn them on a little bit later than usual or turn them off a little bit earlier. And don't forget to plug them out before you go to bed rather than leaving them on all night. 
So what about having house parties, dinners, and the whole social atmosphere with families? Well, here's Christmas savings tip number six. Invite fewer people for family dinners. The good thing is, you now have an excuse. COVID. The Prime Minister did say that gatherings are to be restricted to no more than 15 people, both in public and private. And while we may miss the big family dinner, it also means we get to spend less on all that food. No need to worry about a feast because our numbers would be less than normal. Or how about tip number eight? Give a handmade gift. Now those are gifts from the heart. My friend made these adorable crochet stuffed toys for my children, more valuable than anything she could have bought because of all the time and love that she put into them. My daughter also makes beautiful artwork that she's gifting this Christmas, and it only costs her the price of materials. Which leads me to tip number nine. Buy local and support small businesses. Locally made crafts are often less expensive than imported items, not necessarily because the quality is any less, but because you don't pay import duties. And here's an insider pro tip. Small businesses that make less than $10 million a year don't collect GCT. That means if you buy from a small business, you won't be charged GCT, making the cost of your item cheaper. And finally, Christmas savings tip number 10. Don't be duped by sales. Everything is suddenly on sale for Christmas. And this will tempt you to buy stuff you don't need just because it's on sale. Those sale signs though, they're also a trick to get you into the store so that you can see other things that aren't on sale. Oh, and guess what? The after Christmas sales are usually better anyway especially online. So if you wanted stuff for yourself, wait until after Christmas. Well, those are my top 10 last minute Christmas savings tips. Do you have any more? Comment below. Which one was your favorite? That's it, or almost it, for this episode of Money Mondays JA, brought to you by Proven Wealth. Follow them on social media at We Are Proven and be sure to support their holiday initiatives. Proven Wealth is hosting a drive to support my father's house home to over 40 children with physical and cognitive disabilities. They're also collecting items for Trenchtown Primary School, which caters to 105 students from Trenchtown, Jonestown, Rosetown, and Maxfield Avenue. You may donate in kind or via bank transfer. Email cert at provenwealth.com or call 876-908-38001 for more details on how you can participate. Now, as I promised, I do have some giveaways for you, my wonderful viewers. But first, here's what's coming up on Taking Stock. WePay has partnered with a leading tech bank locally to make receiving payments online in Jamaica a whole lot easier. We'll hear more from CEO of WePay, Caribbean, Aldrin Wayne. And later, the analysts swing on the latest market developments. Another APO has hit the market. The prospectus for Diamond Trading Company is out with new shares in the company selling for $2.40 each, while key insurance's rights issue is going for $3.50. We'll find out what the analysts think about these offers. Now time for those giveaways. I have two gift certificates to Adam and Eve Day Spa, two lovely pairs of handmade earrings from local designer Chrissy's Coil. She made these. And I also have this lovely gift bag from Proven Wealth. And so one winner will be chosen from Instagram and another one from YouTube. So here's how you win. This is what you have to do. On Instagram, you have to share this video to your stories along with your favorite Christmas savings tip. Of course, tag me and you have to be following me to win it. The winner will be chosen at random on Tuesday. And for my YouTube viewers, here's what you do. Share this video on your Facebook page and tag Kalila Reynolds Media. Also tell me what your favorite Christmas savings tip is. Now don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and newsletter. You can click the link in the description box below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Kalila Ray and visit my website kalilareynolds.com for a transcript of this episode. I'm Kalila Reynolds. Merry Christmas! Thank you.